Want to know what makes direct-to-consumer sales so successful? The direct-to-consumer market is growing fast. In fact, the number of D2C buyers has expanded significantly every year since 2017. And with a growing market comes a great pool of online customers, 95.4 million D2C buyers to be exact. Clearly this model is paying off for sellers. Today we're going to look into the benefits as well as a few of the difficulties of D2C sales. I'm Noel with Jotform. Let's go. When it comes to advantages, the direct-to-consumer model offers many. From low-cost consumer goods to luxury apparel, all types of sellers reap the benefits of D2C sales. The direct-to-consumer sales model provides greater control over customer-brand relationships. By selling straight to the customer, brands retain end-to-end -end control over any and all interactions. This gives them even more opportunities to differentiate themselves. Not only that, they get to learn about their buyers and build relationships. This also protects brands from any potential retailer mishaps. For example, if the corner shop runs out of stock or an online megastore has a site malfunction, buyers may associate those negative experiences with the brand itself. The direct-to-consumer model places all the responsibility in the hands of the producer. Another advantage of direct-to-consumer sales is that by retaining control of all buyer data, D2C brands can better understand their customers. It's all about knowing your customers and understanding local trends. It's no longer just a pure play on selling. By controlling sales channels, D2C brands can gather way more specific information about their buyers. They can then take that data and build personalized shopping experiences. A third advantage is that direct-to-consumer sales eliminate the competition at a crucial moment. If you walk into a store, you'll likely see five different types of toothpaste displayed. While retailers place brands side by side on a shelf, online retailers place competitors in grids on an even bigger shelf. Buyers who've committed to one brand may be lured away from your product. By selling D2C, brands compete at an earlier stage in the buyer's journey. By the time a customer is at your e-store, there's no more distraction. That's a very powerful benefit especially for consumer packaged goods. Direct-to-consumer sellers control their retail prices to a greater extent than wholesalers. At first glance, the ability to sidestep retailer markups may seem like the key benefit of selling directly. However, that's not necessarily true. Many D2C brands focus on luxury or near-luxury goods, and lower prices aren't always great for brands like that. Some D2C brands sell through their own channels as well as wholesale to retailers, who may drop producers that actively undercut their prices. So while price control is an advantage, make sure to factor in all parts of your production and selling process before attaching a price to your items. While the direct-to-consumer sales model boasts many advantages, it isn't right for every manufacturer. Here are some of the key points of focus that are important to know when deciding if D2C sales is for your business or not. While cutting out the middleman can create a better relationship with your customers, selling directly to consumers requires additional infrastructure. In addition to producing your product, you have to also manage logistics, online payments, customer service, and marketing. Third-party vendors can help in all these instances, but the cost-benefit analysis doesn't always favor D2C. One other downside to direct-to-consumer sales is that it may lead to conflict with retailers. As established brands begin to break into D2C channels, some of their wholesale partners are crying foul. Heinz is a great example of this. During the pandemic, they quickly moved to D2C sales. When news of their Heinz to Home program broke, retailers complained that the company was undercutting them on prices. They worried that the move could create further shortages in the retail supply chain. While selling online makes your product available at the click of a mouse, Online advertising competition is fierce and costly to boot. Today's direct-to-consumer brands sell online, which makes pay-per-click advertising the marketing channel of choice. This can lead to bidding wars among D2C sellers, driving smaller players completely out of the running. D2C brands learned a lesson painfully quick at the beginning of the pandemic. In highly competitive categories, especially apparel brands, the cost of certain keywords and phrases ran very high. 
It was inflationary pricing because everybody was bidding. While there are solutions, the bidding model of pay-per-click advertising can be a surprising expense for new e-commerce outfits. Direct-to-consumer benefits and barriers stack up differently for every brand, but it appears that the advantages are winning out for most. Here's a brief review. Some advantages of direct-to-consumer sales are a great customer-brand relationship, sole control of customer data, the ability to eliminate competition earlier in the customer's journey, and setting your own prices. Some disadvantages include the need for additional infrastructure, the possibility of creating conflict with other retailers, and the very costly and fierce competition of direct-to-consumer advertising. However, this emerging industry keeps developing. It seems clear to succeed you must be marketing in new and exciting ways. Stay tuned to this D2C series and we'll touch on how to successfully market directly to consumers. Until then, I'm Noel. Thanks for watching Jotform.